Hey YouTube, Lucky Duck 22 here again. Wanted to uh, show you some different options for docking um, or playing your new iPod Nano 6th generation. So for starters, here I have one of my first um, docks. It's just a generic, I think it's a GPX uh, brand. I've had it for three or four years, so I really don't know. Um, but as you can see, I've got the iPod Nano already docked. Um, it goes on there pretty, pretty smoothly. So it's got the 30 pin, 30 pin dock connector. And that's going to go, of course, right into the unit's 30 pin connector up, up at the top there. So let me go ahead and do that. All right, so it's in. As you can see, I'll show you that it works. Press the sleep wake button, turns it on. I will let you know that with the older model docks, you're not gonna get the charging. So this will strictly be just for uh, playing music. Hit the power. Almost. So right now I'm on the radio. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that to the iPod. There we go. So you can tell it detected it had an iPod plugged into it and it went straight to music. Um, just to give you a sample, I think it's already playing actually. Yeah, there you go. Do not There is nothing left to fear. And for me, the volume's over Everything here, so around. I just want to show you guys that it's actually working. Nothing and for these older model docks, you're going to have to change um, your song on the actual iPod. I don't have a remote or anything like that for these ones. And then once, you know, you find the song you want to listen to, just there you go. So again, that's just one option. Turn that one off and I'll go ahead and show you guys yet another docking unit that you can use. All right guys, so here I have the iHome, I believe it's the i9 model, but again, I'm not sure. I've had this one for a few months now. This one, let's go ahead and put the iPod Nano on there. Again, fairly easy to put on there. Turn it on. Oh, and this one I got lucky. I was already on the iPod, uh, as you can see there, on the iPod function. Now for this one, you'll notice that there is the charging ability. So because this is a newer um, dock, it does give me the little lightning bolt um, on the battery, lightning bolt symbol on that battery, showing me that it does charge it. So there's your second option for docking it as far as you know charging and playing music. And uh, now I'm gonna give you one more option. Okay guys, so here's yet another uh, docking option or way to play music. This here is another version of the iHome. Not sure what model this one is. Uh, again, this is one of the ones that I got a few years back. But this one uses uh, batteries. At least I use it with batteries. It does have, there you go. It does have the ability to plug into the wall. Um, but I'll be honest with you, I don't know where that cable is. I've always just used it with batteries. Hmm. So I've gone ahead and plugged in the iPod Nano. And with this one, you're not going to get any uh, charging capability because it's not plugged into the wall and it's not plugged into the 30-pin uh, dot connector there. 
but you can play your music. You won't be able to play the radio, um, but you can play songs that are on your playlist. Go ahead and play. Turn on the unit. There you go. You adjust the volume for this docking unit um, via the iPod itself. So just volume up. Volume down. Pretty simple. You can pick which uh, songs you want to do or want to listen to. So there you go. I've given you um, three options to dock and listen to your new iPod Nano 6 generation. Feel free to leave uh, any comments or if you have any questions down below. Thank you very much for tuning in. This is Lucky Duck 22. Peace.